Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video and right now we're going to be checking out some of the stats and different things to do with these brand new creatures that were introduced in the newest patch 254 for PC. Dude, this update is amazing. All the tech gear and then these four guys. Now, unfortunately, originally there was supposed to be seven creatures, but you know what? I'm not too bummed out that the others were not introduced at this point because there's just so much in this patch that it's just, uh, it's just so much to cover. But anyway, we're going to be checking out all these guys now in a second, but before we start, if at any point in this video you find yourself liking this video, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. It would really help me out. Okay, so first of all, I guess we're going to place some of these. Put one in the water here too. Awesome, okay. So, um, what dino should we check out first? Let's check out the Ovis, <laughs> the sheep. Oh, these things are awesome. So this one has max melee. So let's see how much damage this thing could do. No, that can't be right. No, that thing's bugged out. No, that no 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 no. That thing's bugged out. Uh, we need a creature to test it on now. Great. <laughs> that uh that has that has to be bugged. What? Like that doesn't make any sense. That how? <laughs> it's bugged. It's definitely bugged somehow. Um, what we're gonna do, I guess, is spawn in some of us then. Uh, sheep. There we go. Okay, so we're doing forty-seven damage. That is a huge amount. No, it's not. That's a terrible, terrible amount. <laughs> 35. What the hell? Okay, so apparently these guys, even with max melee, are not very good. This thing is insane. Look at it. 711 melee. That is ridiculous. Can I... I can joust on these guys. That's interesting. How do you use this thing? I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> So apparently, uh, yeah, they're they're not very good at uh, at killing, and I guess I can understand why. Um, all right, well, let's do a little bit of jump here. That's kind of what they're good for, jumping around and looking majestic. Let me just do a uh, nice little run towards you. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That's nice. Anyway, that was a max melee with normal speed. This one has max speed, so let's test it out. Okay, well, it's a little bit quicker. <laughs> it's not like... This is like all the levels into into freaking uh, speed, and it's not even that fast. <laughs> I guess we could jazz with this one. <laughs> Look at the shadow, actually. That's hilarious. Uh, they yeah, they don't have very much stamina as well. I've just noticed because uh, they just keep keep seeming to be uh, running out immediately. All right, let's uh, spawn in a sheep here and test out the damage. So twenty with normal. Okay, why is that one hurt? That's weird. So, sheep are not good at fighting, but they are good at looking adorable as crap. Look at those eyes. It's just beautiful in every single way. I guess at this point, it might be a good idea to test out the scissors on, the scissors on these guys. So, uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, man. This is awesome. Now, I should probably just mention, uh, on this single player, I think my, t my gather rates are 20. So, uh, yeah, that's what they look like with... Are they any faster now? No, not really. I'm a little bit weighed down as well. So what can this stuff be used for then? I guess we're going to have to figure that out at some point. But, uh, yeah, you just seem to get, like, a decent amount from them. I mean, like, 30 from one sheep is pretty good. If that's actual pelt, then... I mean, like, pelt just for standing around and shearing some sheep without having to go to the winter biome, it's pretty good. That is pretty amazing. Ah, oh, it looks amazing. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out the Baryonyx here. So, this one... Oh, what's attacking us? No! What is it? Go away. Leave my stuff alone. <laughs> so, I think this one is the max speed one. Yeah, it looks like it, actually. By the way, this is mutton. That's what you get from the from the sheep. So, uh, yeah. Or I guess we're going to test that out at some point, too. But uh, yeah, this is a max speed Baryonyx. It's pretty fast. And that is its kind of normal melee. So it's pretty decent. You get pelt from the sheep. That's interesting. You get quite a lot as well. Can't harvest the rest of it. Interesting. Huh. Okay, so let's drop all that crap. Um, also, I might as well just chuck on the saddle just to show you what it looks like. Oh, wrong one. Here we go. So the saddle looks pretty cool on this guy, I gotta admit. But uh, these guys are gonna be mainly good for moving around like on the land and in the water. Because as you can see, they are pretty fast swimmers. And now they have this cool attack that uh, you can basically... 
Wait, let me find something to use it on. We got some manta over here. So if you were in the water and you were to right click, use okay. Well, you use the stun attack right here. So as you can see, the manta's not attacking right now because he's stunned. So then at that point we can just kill him and eat him. And uh, these guys, these guys regen using uh, fish meat, and they regen really really quick as well. Also, that's gonna be super handy. That stun attack, it works on megalodons I've seen. Um, I'm not sure if it would work on anything bigger than a megalodon. I guess we can quickly test it out and see if it works in jellyfish. Yeah, it seems to work in jellyfish. Oh, and you get quite a lot of biotoxin, though actually my uh, gather rates are 20 times in the single player, so that might be why. Ooh. Yeah, you can use it on jellyfish. That is amazing, actually. They seem to be pretty good at killing jellyfish. Let's use it on the shark. So as you can see, there's kind of like a bit of a glow on its face there. And that must mean that it's stunned. Ooh. Let's get around here. So the stun seems to last for quite a bit, actually. And it has a pretty good AoE, too. Yeah, so we could just kill this guy. I mean, it lasts for quite a long time. Holy crap. Okay. Well, that is the Baryonyx. It doesn't do anything else in the water, uh, but it does have some other attacks on the land. Actually, if you press C... Wait, let me go up. If you press C, you actually dive. That's interesting. And if you press X, do you go up? No. R? No. Spacebar obviously goes up. Yeah, that was a bit silly. <laughs> so uh, C makes you dive. Right click makes you do this. Left click is your bite attack. Pretty cool. Pretty amazing. I'm really liking this guy so far. I cannot wait to tame one. Um, so then I guess we can check out his... Uh, he's got like a bit of a roar here. It's pretty cool. I like it. In general, these guys are pretty cool anyway. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of them at this point. I can't wait to actually tame some of them. Seriously, it's going to be amazing. So uh, let's check out the max melee one here. So if we can find something to use this on that's not bugged out. So another sheep, I guess. So we do a good bit of damage there. Oh, the sheep disappeared because we killed it. So yeah, pretty, pretty decent amount of damage there. It's generous, and this is its normal running speed, so we're actually pretty quick even without the speed. So uh, whether or not you'd actually want to up some uh, speed on these guys, I would actually probably just up like health and melee to be honest, because like this is relatively quick. And it comes out with 120 as well. And they, kept, they also have like pretty decent uh, weight as well, like it's not bad. So overall a great, a great tame, I would definitely recommend it. That, that is just so... I hate those stupid item dummy things, or the training dummies. They're just so bugged out. But uh, yeah, so that's the Baryonyx. Um, next we have the Prelavia, and uh, these guys you cannot ride. So uh, you can actually bury them in the ground. Use them as little landmines almost. So for this demonstration, what I can do is I can get these guys into a class. So they're going to be class 1, so let's change our order group to 1. And for this, I think we're gonna do a follow all. So one of them has max speed. I think it might be that one. The other one has max melee. It's that one there. Awesome. So let's get these guys to follow us. Kind of just see the speed of them. So this one right here is the max speed one. And holy crap, that thing is really fast. Let me see. Uh... Dude, the speed on that thing. No way. Go over there. It's like slowed down for some reason. It's not running. I don't know why it's not running. <laughs> it's like they're walking now. That is a little bit confusing. Alright, never mind. That was kind of strange. I don't really understand it. Um, which one are you again? You're the max speed. So I guess let's get in a sheep here. And have them fight the sheep. So that must be the... Okay, so 109 is the... Uh, is the one without melee pumped and then 209 is the one with melee pumped a little bit derpy in the water for fighting as well that's kind of strange also I should mention kibbles for these guys the uh, the baryonyx is going to take Paki rhino kibble I believe and uh, these guys right here take <clears throat> these guys right here take uh, moss chops kibble and then the what is it called the sheep the obvious they take sweet veggie cake 
And then the Basilosaurus, which we're going to be checking out now in a second, they take um, their Xenosaurus kibble. So, uh, yeah, that's that's all the kibbles for the, all these new guys. Um, it's on follow on you. I think we lost the other one. It doesn't matter, though. Let's check out these guys here, then. All right, so I have not actually given these guys the levels yet, so let's just grab in some level potions here really quick. That's just from a simple mod that I have. Let's just unfollow. Oh, it looks like they harvest oil as well. I didn't realize that. That's interesting. I didn't know they'd do that. All right, let's give this one some levels here. So this one can be our max speed one. Also, I should probably mention, they upped the dino level. So dinos can um, level up by five more. So previously, they used to cap off at one or 291. Now that's 296. Dude, this thing is cool. All right, so we should start taking some damage now in a second. My character has infinite stats. That may be why it's affecting it right now. Man, this thing's awesome. It's nice for moving around. Like, it seems pretty... Pretty good at doing some turns and stuff. Like, it's pretty decent for its size. I mean... I like it. So, if we take off... Oh, yeah, look at that. We're just taking damage because we're, uh... We're low down. These guys cannot go into the depths of the water because they are too fragile. So, uh, you're gonna be best off being up at the surface, pretty much. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, we also get this buff on our screen as well. That is basically like heat and uh, cold resistance, which is pretty cool. Pretty amazing for these guys. Um, they can do some different attacks. So that's the bite attack. Um, how do you do the blowhole attack? I'm not exactly sure. There we go. What was that? Oh, we just did a rainbow. How do you do that? What button was that? I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what just did that, by the way. Oh, it's right click. Yeah, look at that. You get like a tiny little rainbow. That is awesome. All right, let me check out the damage then. Oh. All right, let's go over to this guy here. So we're doing like 100 per hit. That's pretty decent. And we have relatively good stats as well. We have a lot of health, which is pretty good all these guys here we seem to be like decent at fighting uh, not too bad at all but the main thing with these guys is that they cannot be grabbed or shocked so not grabbed by the Tuso and they can't be shocked by the jellyfish which is pretty cool I think that's a really nice um, little buff for these guys so it makes them really good for going around getting jellyfish uh, what is it called biotoxin and then I guess also as well they're gonna be pretty good at fighting the Tusos so Let's give this guy some melee. This guy's going to be our melee one. So as you can see, this guy came out with pretty high health too. So let's give him some melees. Nice, what's attacking us? I'm not even sure. Mantas, of course. Okay, so with max melee, we get pretty decent damage out there, actually. 308 is not bad at all. Alright, let's kill this guy here. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent amount of damage, you know. And I like that little effect that we leave behind us. That's the same as, like, the Tuso. So, guys, that is actually going to be it for today. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. You can subscribe. We're obviously going to be taming every single one of these guys. So, make sure that you subscribe for all of those videos. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. That is not an accurate reading. <laughs> Thank you.